Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Panda. I'm in the cafeteria area. You may hear a little bit of humming noise in the background. That's the refrigerator. So please, pardon me, but I need to make this video so you guys can understand why my video is being delayed so much. It is not my fault. It is DaVinci Resolve 16.2. Every time I pick a front, yes. <clears throat> so what I'm doing is picking a front and customizing it. And every time I pick a front and I'm not even attempt to customize it, it crashes every single time. So I'm gonna open it up for you again, my storyline. And this is why the video has been delayed. So Everyone, please do subscribe, like, and share. The reason why I don't like these fronts is because there's of these black lines that are in my frame. It's disturbing. I'm not sure if you can see that, but let me zoom in for you. Hold on. Just zoom in right there. Boom. You see that? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> All right. You guys see that? Now, I'm recording this on my iPhone, so bear with me. Now, I color grade everything, but when, every time I pick a front, it crashes. Check it out. This is the main front that I want, but it crashes on some fronts that I do want, and that that's not fair. And I address this on Instagram with black magic. I don't know what it is. Every time I pick a front, that looks okay, but that's not the front that I want, right? So let's say if I want another front, that looks okay, right? Boom, fine. But let's say I pick a complicated front. Now, mind you, before I even click it, or click any one of them. Microsoft Word recognizes these fronts. <laughs> Numbers, letters, uh, agitations, quotes, uh, die pens. Yes, if you don't know what a die pen is, oh wow. <laughs> ah. I'm sorry, but you learn, you learn from the wrong university or the wrong school. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not gonna take you back, but I'm gonna show you what it does. And guys, please, I'm trying to push this video out and I'm trying to add this and it keeps doing other stuff too. It's not just the front, but it's deleting stuff on its own and it thinks I'm double clicking on something that I'm not. <laughs> it did that, I had to fix the timeline twice. I had to fix it twice. So check it out. Watch when I click on different fronts. And then when I wanna click on this front, apparently, where is it? This is my favorite front. I use it for everything. It crashes. <laughs> it just crashes. It just completely crashed. Guys, now you're on my desktop. <laughs> it just completely crashes every single time. Don't know why that is. Okay, so you guys are probably asking this very one question. Do you have enough RAM? Can I zoom in? right there for you. I'm using the HyperX 2400 megahertz. Yes. Because the stock RAM that came with this laptop, the Novo, crap. <laughs> this is why my video about this laptop on my YouTube channel went viral. Because people could not believe what I did. Yes, I changed the display on the, the monitor. Now, it's a beautiful 4K display. Look at that. 
sharp detail, perfect. So now you see my sentence. And mind you, I'm overclocking. I'm using the Intel Extreme Tuner. So if you guys don't understand what overclocking is, as a gamer enthusiast, I used to build gaming computers a lot and workstations. I use this method to actually keep the to keep the lifespan of the CPU and RAM and motherboard and saw caps, V caps, as long as possible. So when you just listen to music and you're just browsing through the internet, it's not using that much power as you can see. What it's doing is conserving power. So your light bill doesn't go fucking crazy. <laughs> Does that make any sense to you? I think it should. <laughs> because even a laptop can cost you a lot of money on your light, your electricity bill, based on the brick. And I got a pretty big brick. This is a 165 watt brick. Yes, 165 watt brick for this laptop. And it's a custom laptop because the lap, <laughs> there's a reason behind this laptop. Because the Americans distribute a laptop, but they don't distribute a laptop with, mind you, with SSD. <laughs> they give you that hyphen drive, hard drive, which is crap. And what they do is they, it doesn't make sense to Novo, to Novo. Hear me out. It does not make sense. Why would you put the recovery on the same drive when it's not recoverable? If it goes dead, that's everything. <laughs> this is why the number should have supplied at least 128 gigabyte SSD for that reason and have the SSD for operating system only. But no, they didn't think about that. So this is why my setup, it's like this. And I'm gonna display this really quickly. Let's zoom in really quickly. So the 250 gigabytes, it's for the operation system only. Updates everything only for Microsoft only. This here, software, uh, uh, so all software. The terabyte data storage, simple, easy, understandable. This is how you should run your, even your desktop. Separate your operating system from, your, from the software that you install, from the data that you save. Always do it that way. And even have a backup drive for it. I have a cloud. My parents have a cloud. So when I register in the, the, the problem is that I can't trust this Wi-Fi here. And I'm not sure if I can access it here at this Wi-Fi, but I was able to access it at the Northwest Portland Hostel because they, they gave me access to Wi-Fi so I can do the VPN private remote connect. Because they knew that I was, try I told them that I need to save this data. I need to get to my parents' home drive, which we save data, don't know. We save memories. We save something that's very important. So, mind you, as I said before, always separate software, like the operating system, software, data. And always make sure that your data drive is always larger than what you always get a, a one terabyte or a two terabytes. Now this laptop supports one terabyte. Yes, it does, but not on the inside. Do only USB 3.0. There is a limitation on the SSD that's mounted on the motherboard on the, on the PCB board as well. You, there are certain ones that you can put the micro SDs up to 500 gigabyte, and they are rare, but minimum 250. 
you guys that don't know about the Nova Rover series, I can educate you about the Nova series, the Gigabyte series, because you guys know I had the Gigabyte from all the way from Taiwan. That thing lasted me five years. And I still got service for it when I was in the States. This is why I always want to buy a laptop from East Asia or Southern Asia, because I still got service even in the States. That gigabyte with the gigabyte U242, it was the 2442N. It was a Taiwan version. It had the Taiwan keys, Japanese text customized just the way I like it. It did that just for me. If you guys don't know about that history on that laptop, check it out. Before it was before this laptop, <laughs> it it ran like no other. It even ran 4K video on an older processor. I don't know why it did, but it did. It's magic. That's why it lasts so long. And I gave it for parts. And even the guy that I gave it to in Madison, Wisconsin was like, dude, this is a rare laptop being in the States, dude. You sure you don't want the money for it? I was like, nah, do what you can. If you want to make money off of it, then that, that's my donation to you. He knew exactly, and by the way, Rocket Repair, that's Nick. Trust me, he can fix your, your phone, he can fix your laptop, he can fix your TV probably, <laughs> your microwave. Dude, he's, he's pretty talented, a, a, a former rollerblader, by the way. Former rollerblader, very smart. Uh, I, I probably leave the link down in the description below after this video, but it's, it's called rocketrepair.com. And like, it's in Madison, Wisconsin. Dude, he, he can literally fix anything. <laughs> and I gave it to him. And he's like, you shouldn't want money for it? I'm like, nah. And then I gave him the Beats headphones. He goes, you shouldn't want, nope. Keep it. If you want to make, you fix them, you sell them, make your profit off it, there you go. That's another donation. He can verify that, by the way. <laughs> right, Nick? <laughs> he can verify that. That's why like, I, I, I miss Madison because I want to support the small businesses that really are like the true people of Madison. And Nick is part of that, Madison. Francisca is part of that. Uh, Chad from the Robin Room is part of that. And even his, uh, his wife, girlfriend. I actually don't know if they're wife or girlfriend, but yeah, they, they're a team and wow. <laughs> They got Mint Mark. Mint Mark is you want some great, really good food. Sorry for that, I hit the microphone. If you want a really good food, actually, let's, let's bring that up on the website. Come on. Let's do this properly. Come on, let's introduce them properly. I'm sorry, I'm being such a jerk. <laughs> like, I have all this access to this Wi Fi. And we're doing this live stream about <clears throat> DaVinci Resolved. Okay, so. Uh, okay, so this is the ramen room. This is where, when I go to Madison, Wisconsin, this is where I go to get my drinks. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, these guys make drinks like pearls. Good, good, good drinks. But uh, here's a gallery. Wait, are they, are they updated? What's going on here? Oh, where's the gallery? Don't do that, Chad. No. Okay, let's go to the Instagram. <laughs> what? Oh, that's Nick. Not that. Not that Nick. <laughs> This is the robber room. Look at those cocktail drinks. <laughs> Dude, these guys are awesome. If you ever go to Madison, Wisconsin, do it in the summer or springtime or even in the winter, <clears throat> gotta head to the robber room. There's a as soon as you step in, you're gonna feel the good vibe. 
and there's a phone booth right to your right. You're gonna be like, that's a phone booth. You're gonna make out in that phone booth. <laughs> that's the first thing I thought about, but we may think of something else, but yeah, uh, that's Chad. But yeah, go there, good drinks, fresh made right in front of you too. So be cautious. Then we go to Not too far away, you got Morrison Ramen. I recommend it, hands down. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't care. Yeah, I, I said it. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes, I did say it. Because <laughs> I will eat that breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I, I, I don't understand how, how... I don't understand why you don't understand that, because... Look at my nutritious body and my biceps and my cat muscles people have been talking about on Instagram lately. You know why? Because I eat great food from people like this, from great people like Morris Ramen. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> so shout out, I leave a link there. To, if you guys ever go to Madison, there's live concerts in the Madison. This is why I go back in the summer and spring because normally there's live concerts and events, but this summer, uh, COVID, it killed it. <laughs> it killed everything. No one's making anything like they normally would. No one's gonna make money in bank this year. Everyone's trying to struggle to survive. That is the root. This is, mind you that the, every other country in the world, right, at this point, has given the citizens some, some existence to the COVID-19 response. I know that because my parents were received it in Japan. So why is it, even though, yes, they pull out a stimulus, but that's not a recovery. You have to understand what that recovery and the stimulus is different. What they did in the countries were paid the small businesses and people that work or have to work certain jobs and industries for the next three, four months. <laughs> That's a difference what the United States is doing. Big difference. A super big difference. 1200 a month. Wait, no, no, not 1200 a month. I'm sorry, let me repeat that. 1200 period. Mm -mm. When countries are doing better than that, I'm sorry, but that, that, no excuse. <clears throat> I don't care who's president elected. No excuse for the, <laughs> the, 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 the many lives that have been lost or the, the problems that people have to go through in order to survive, to keep food on their tables. Or some people going through immigration issues. This is why I resigned. Now you guys understand why I said I resigned from the agency and from working for any government agency, period. No, no more. No, no, I can't do it anymore. There's no safety net, there's no nothing. There's nothing that protects anyone. And and today, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. And today, uh, David Perry gives me his card right here. You see that? It's like, give him an email, give him a chat. Exactly what I did. <laughs> Look at that. Great man. Looking out for the community. Looking out for freelancers. You see that? Potential. It's a man that actually sees an open mind. <laughs> what about the rest of the world? I 
I can't even push this video out because this dead dead software keeps crashing. Let's try to start this up again. <clears throat> so, hear me out, guys. The reason why I want to push this video out because it's a special video because I actually am doing a lot to it that you <laughs> you're not going to expect. I'm doing my cinema work this time. Yes, I'm doing my cinema work finally on the YouTube channel. I'm not doing it on a memo or the outskirt or uh, what you call it. Yes, I want to do it on the YouTube so you guys can see the... <laughs> can I actually show you the, the, the color grading <laughs> process of this? Oh. Yeah, so I swear to you, I, I'm, I'm literally on the edge of like calling Black Magic and telling them that you suck and I don't want to use this software anymore. But I love you, but I want to marry you. But this is like, you, you, it's like me and Sony again, but me and Black Magic. And everyone knows me and, Black Mad, me and Sony, we don't get along because they don't support A-mount. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm going full candy, by the way. So, <laughs> I, 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 I sold my Sony A77 Mark II. Yes, the way it is, as is. Yes, I did. To so someone that said, yeah, I'll take it. He was willing to trust me on like how it works. I was like, good. Yes, so the 1835 art lights too. So, there you go. <laughs> but I just want to show you like wait 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 I just want to hear how this is gonna wait no 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 I want you I want you guys to hear the how this is gonna start I want you to see what the the, the direction I'm going with this. And I'm gonna add some clips in there too. Don't worry, I'm gonna add clips in the middle of that. Wait, but the, I, I'm gonna add the other storyline to get, but I'm trying to complete the first minute because I want this to be the 15 minutes long. Yes, 15 minute long log or documentary. It's a documentary type of feel. that front. I don't like that front. I'm telling you. Can you guys feel it? Can you guys feel it? You want me to play it back one more time? You think I should play it back one more time so you can feel it? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, guys. Pause for a moment. Take a breather. As, as, as someone that's trying to educate you from a, a self-taught point of view, Take this with a grain of salt, all right? Think about the music, think about the movement, think about the beat, think about the video quality. I know that this live stream is not doing any justice because the live stream YouTube likes to overexpose everything like an idiot. <laughs> so let's try to fix this really quick. Okay, try to feel this, okay? Ready? Okay. And then I'm gonna jump to another clip. Boom. I'm gonna do that. And keep doing that. And then there's and those jump beats. You hear those jump beats? Those jump beats. I'm gonna actually add pieces of the Instagram feeds that I've been posting. Yes. See now you guys understand my idea. I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna jump to those. 
I'm gonna not montage this video as much or navigate. Here's the drop. Then I'm gonna do some parkour that you have not seen me do because I've been exercising like they suck. Okay, you guys are actually like. Did you just sample this? Yes. Thank you for the sample. See, I, I, the artists, man, the artists, I support the artists. <laughs> So, so you guys get it, right? So you guys understand, right? You start over. Watch this clip closely. It's slow mode down to 45%. And it slowly blows into another scene. And it's all color graded, by the way. And mind you that, as I said before, mind you, as I said before, this live stream right now, due to iPhone, is overexposing and it's not doing justice but wait till you see it it's gonna blow your mind away i created a, a, a new lock that's what i did i collected a new lock i figured out the, the ken ADD's problem from andrew reeds thank you andrew reeds for letting me figure it out appreciate it So, with that said, I'm giving you guys a sample, but the problem is this keeps crashing on front, and I don't like that front. <laughs> it, I don't like this front. Look at the black line that's in the middle. I don't like that. I want to change it. Every time I try to change it to a front that I like, it crashes. I don't know what it is, Black Magic, and I, I can't explain what it is. Listen, I have used Final Cut in my years. I have used, uh, what is that, Windows, uh, what is that, Windows Player Editor, that cheesy editor. That was kind of fun to use, though. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to admit, that was pretty fun to use. <laughs> that's, from, that's for the game and stuff. <laughs> I try not to waste resources on my computer on the gaming editing videos because those are easy to add. And you guys are probably saying, what? Resources? Yes. When you add storylines or projects to your storyline, you're not just eating up resources, but you're eating up data and you're eating up storage. So, those, those, Yes, yeah, some people, some hardcore gamers would save those videos. I did save those videos for a while, but over time I just deleted them. They weren't very important from the very beginning. So with that said, uh, yet, I just don't like this front, so we're gonna try to change it. Let's try to find something suitable. Oh, we can, we can do Russian, but we don't want symbols. <laughs> Ew. Guys, look at this ugly ass front. <laughs> that is, I don't know, you, maybe you can work some magic with that, but that's the most ugliest front that I ever seen. 
I don't think I ever downloaded this front. I downloaded MIDI fronts before, but I don't think I downloaded this front. I think this was downloaded with something else. I don't know. <laughs> this is terrible front. I'm sorry. I don't know what people were trying to go with that one. And it crashes on Sniper. Oh, this front called Sniper. It crashes. Okay. See, guys? I'm not kidding you. I cannot get this work done. This is why I'm asking you for your support. <laughs> please. Hit the PayPal donation in the, in the cash app, please. I'm trying to push out and I'm trying to add this thing so badly. I, it's making my life miserable. I got the motivation for it. I'm not going to give up. No way. I've been at this for two, two and a half days. I'm not going to give up. <laughs> I cannot. I'm really... Uh, come on. I got... There's too many fronts. And this is a problem with... Uh, with the... Uh, uh, DaVinci Dissolve 16. Guys, here's the problem. Why can you not see in real time the change? I don't understand that. Like, if you click on it, like, why can you not see that in real time? As you scroll up and down, why can you not see that in real time? That's so fucking stupid. I'm sorry about this, but like, baga, nah. Dumb, dumb, dumb. We want to see that in real time, don't we all? So we can get a real aspect, a good grip on what we are seeing. But if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below. If I need to change any settings in DaVinci Resolve 16.2, do already have that flexibility? If I'm wrong, but I just think that's too stupid. It should come default. <laughs> that's my point. It should always come default. Adobe does that. This is why I love Adobe in some places and I don't love Adobe in some places. But I digress. Guys, please subscribe. I'm just trying to edit this video out and trying to get this pushed out. It keeps crashing, and then I have to start the... Yes, I, I want to talk about what's going on with the project. I had to start over. This program corrupted the, the timeline. I don't know. Please don't ask me. It couldn't read it. It couldn't start it up. It kept pausing. It kept crashing. It kept crashing. Back to desktop. I could, it turned out it was corrupt. Somehow it didn't save to the drive, and I'm pretty sure uh, that's probably human error on my behalf. And this is why it's a human error on my behalf. As it was saving it, I think I took out the power cable. And when the power cable goes off, I programmed this laptop to go in safe mode. So that kind of interrupts how the, the files or the data is being transferred to the SSDs and it could have corrupted the, like the, the data as it was being transferred at a certain speed and then suddenly it's throttled to a certain speed and like boom, like oh, and got stuck. So I know that's a rare case, but I've seen that happen a few times, trust me. It's like from some from a technician standpoint, I've seen it happen quite a few times. And uh, as I built uh, gaming, you guys see my gaming computer. I built my daughter her own panda gaming gaming system. You guys seen that one? But you you guys saw my green lantern on my Facebook, right? It then cost me like ten grand. Stupid. I know. I don't even really use it. That's why I sold it. <laughs> yeah, I sold it. 
it's like a soldier to some guy in, in, in Brazil that like ended up bu- rebuilding it and like made it even better. And I was like, oh wow, he put 15 grand. How? <laughs> he put an extra five grand into it. That was crazy. So he made it into a freaking quad. There were like four, <laughs> four video cards and it was like one cool. I was like, that's, that's overload. That's like, you don't do, I, I wasn't thinking about doing that. Because it's no purpose, but it's, it, I, it's, it's just for display. That's what he did it. But he liked my color scheme. Because he already had it down. He, yeah. Already had everything down. All he did was a certain modification, adding things and putting things and put, adding more light in. That's all he did. And game and and, and, the, and the honest part about this guy was like, he was like, hey, I got I got I got some something for you. Since me, a certified check doing the mail, I had to sign for it. And it was like eight grand for all the commission for the for the display for it. So yeah, shows you right that there are good people out in the world. <laughs> People don't believe in it, but this guy didn't know me. I didn't know him. I just sold him my desktop. It's actually wasn't a desktop. It was an open station. And he just, re- mod- just did modification and then displayed it on a display for a event, a com- like a gaming event, and got so much traction. I see it on YouTube and I was like, what the fuck? That's my, sh- that's my shit. <laughs> and that's where everyone, every game was like, is that panda shit? And then, but he made modifications. I was like, no, I, but I sold it to him so he can do whatever he wants. But he was nice enough to give me commission. Because what he was doing at the booth, they sold like 70% profit of whatever they wanted. But they didn't expect to sell that much. And not only that, he got commission, he got a YouTube gig and all that stuff, and he got a YouTube gig and all that stuff and blah, blah, blah. So I'm happy for him. It's Fujimon is his name. He's German. Yeah, he's a German. He's still my friend. He's on my, uh, my LinkedIn account because he does, like, art and designs too. So, yeah, he's the one that brought the damn light to desktop. And had it, yes. And we had it shipped all the way from Japan. Oh, wow. You know how much that shipping was costing? Oh, that was like... Five hundred dollars shipping. That's... <laughs> Quite the expensive shipping. But... St- he still has it. Glad, but anyway, back to this fucking piece of program shit. <laughs> I can't get this to freaking program. Look at that. Oh, simple tax. It changes. I don't like that tax. <clears throat> I mean, front. Cheesy. Cheesy. Note. See? Guys, come on. Look at this. I'm trying to... It's not doing... It's not crashing on these other fronts that I don't like. <laughs> but it crashes on the fronts that I do like. I wonder if this software is biased. <laughs> it's, it's a hitting on me. The fuck? Yo. Are you hating on me, you fucking wanker? You dumb shit software. <laughs> Don't get mad because you're soft and I'm and, and I'm hard. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I uh, know. I'm, I'm, I'm just joking, guys. Don't, don't take it seriously. Don't take that seriously. But I gotta have humor. Even though this is a bad time, this is happening, I have to have some humor about this. Because, um... Yeah. I've been drinking and I feel great. I'm not mad. I got more beer left, so... <laughs> but look at this. I don't like that front. That front looks like shit. Hey. Right. I'm like, oh wow, you like the girls, first girls I have seen in a while. <laughs> but anyway, guys, look at this front. I don't like this shit. This is this looks bad. I don't like it. Yeah, you. Some of you guys may love this front, but I don't like it personally. It looks like. Uh, anyway, maybe I can make it smaller. Maybe I can change the color. Maybe. Okay, can we play with the color? Let's do that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's give it a chance. <laughs> so we're gonna change color. We're gonna see what we have here. We have, we have front outline controls. Okay, which I am going to probably change a little bit. And that we have the main light control. See, so you see that white accent? That's what that main light control is. And then blur. I'm not sure what the blur is. It's never checked. It's never blurred. So, therefore, okay, so maybe we should change the color. Yeah, green, no, blue, no, purple, no, purple. <laughs> Looks like garbage. <laughs> Look at that. No decency. There's, there's no colored decency here. It's like, this font makes every color look bad. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. We blend in. We blend in. Oh. Maybe we get something. If we, if we fix maybe depth. It's telling me you want to put it at this depth. Why? I don't know, understand that. See, do you see that? That's fucking nuts. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, <laughs> my bilingual the main language is coming in when I'm drunk. Oh, guys, when I'm drunk, you give him a native language. <laughs> Just inside scoop. <laughs> I'm just letting you know this. <laughs> inside scoop. Panda. My British nanny was the best. <laughs> Ten years of her bullshit. <laughs> and then, um, no, technically it was actually eight years of her bullshit. Davis, Davis, mm. Miss, Mr. Moi, she was nice, Japanese woman. Oh, she was, I don't know, it was 11, 12, maybe I, I, I had a, maybe I was going through a thing, but I thought she was hot. I don't know, I thought she was hot. Japanese women, you know, at that time, like the, the fashion then, compared to now, I find Japanese women in the 80s and 90s more attractive than the women that are currently dressed too hip hop ish. I kind of like cultural things better. Growing up in Japan in the 80s, yeah, I kind of like cultural things better. I don't know. Something about like. That tradition color. This is why I wear my hamaka or my yak, my yeah, yakuma. <laughs> Yakuta. <laughs> and my hakuma. Sometimes I just 
something about like trying to remember back in the day growing up understanding Japanese culture and it's different from today. It's not the same. Young generations are just I'm forty. I'm forty years old. Mind you that I'm I'm yes. I'm forty and I'm I'm saying that. Like what the are you a normal or are you not? Are you are you part of the eighties generation or are you not? No, I am part, but I'm different. I'm I'm seeing a better point of view, that's all. See learn them stick they are fucking on shit. <laughs> Look at that video. I don't like that color. It just looks... I really don't like that color. Ugh. Okay, guys. See, this is why I ask you guys for support. Follow, share the content. Let people know. It. This is what I'm struggling with. The, 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 the stupid dimension is all keeps crashing. Mind you that like I can put all the editing, I have all the files where I need to be Watch, Look, look, look. Let me explain why I, I have all the files where I need to be. Here it is. First and foremost, they are from Eugene to San Francisco folder. I got a Canon folder, I got an iPhone folder, and I got a GoPro folder. So all the footage is separated and categorized by name and title. That's how it's upset for me to edit and combine the footage. Editing and combining footage is not the problem. I just want to get this over with. Because if this is happening to my timeline and it causes a problem within the timeline, I need to make sure within the timeline there's no problems or no problems within the timeline as it's rendering. Because what happens is if there's a problem with text or animations in the timeline or the render, you will have this this jitter effect where it pauses and skips back and forth, like it jump skips. That's what happens with DaVinci Dissolve 16.2. I noticed it in my last video. It did that. So, in DaVinci Blackmagic, mind you, fix it. People pay. We paid five hundred dollars for the software, or what is it, three ninety nine? And uh, this is happening. Are you serious? Come on. <laughs> for that reason, I'm gonna have some more icky bikit. <laughs> oh, let me zoom out, guys. Thanks to you, kid. You know, she doesn't want to come down to the hostel. It's Strange. Uh, maybe because she hates the Portland hostel too. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't like the lot. Okay, so last time she was there, she was there with me last time. She thought, she thought Diane was nice, but she didn't like a certain style that I liked. I was like, what? Her attitude seems corrupt. But I kind of get it now. And uh, I'm not going to mention her name, but she was like, she just thinks she's all, she's arrogant. And you guys, you got to understand from Yuki's point of view, she's a professional psychologist. She, I, I didn't understand what she was talking about until like, Sarah told me and other staff told me. And I was like, oh, ouch. Oh, oh, wow. I did not see that. Wow, I need to pay more attention. That's why Yuki doesn't want to go to hostel, come to the hostel, even though she knows I support the High International Hostel and I'm a member and blah, 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 blah. But she's like, every time you come to the States, you want to stay at these places. It's like, yeah, I like it here. <laughs> 
not in British Columbia yet. anymore, moved out. Portland was okay, but it was too chaotic. Too much riots and uh, mischief for no reason. Mind you that people were destroying people's properties. Can I, as a documentarian photographer, and as you saw today, contributing to the was to the San Francisco. Mind you, this guy here <laughs> contributing to the International Connections Video and Media Association. Let me tell you. Portland has a lot to learn. The problem with Portland is that as soon as they hear about anything bad, they take it out of context. They want to destroy, break, cause problems, walk through people's neighborhoods. This is what they were doing in uh, Knob Hill, which is a pretty peaceful neighborhood where the hostel is. They walked through there at 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning, waking up people and causing mistress and, you know, the police couldn't get that far because, you know, they want to pay more attention to downtown. So these uh, protesters kept doing it for nights at a time, knowing they can get away with it. Until people started like, no, you're not going to do it this time. And one night, no one noticed that these residents on, uh, what was the street? Uh, Abbeville Ab Street and what's the next street? 18th and 19th. You see people come outside like, no, 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 go, go downtown with that shit. <laughs> go down down with that shit. It was pretty funny. Like, no, it, they made people turn down uh, 19th where the bus goes to the stadium, they go, yeah, it was, it was pretty organized that the neighborhood c couldn't tolerate it anymore. Because Portland's, this place, like, it has potential. There are good businesses there, there are good people there, but there are people there that live there that are just, they don't even know what they're fighting for, it, <laughs> to be honest with you. They don't even know it. I asked someone on camera, you saw it firsthand on on the YouTube channel. They were like, I'm quite, it didn't make sense why he answered what he answered. Didn't make sense. And I, I said, you don't want to fight for uh, all lives, just, just for the black lives. But you're not, wait. <laughs> I thought we all mattered. But when he said he didn't matter anymore, and it's like, you, you do matter. That's why I have to contradict him on himself. Like, why you don't matter? Like, you matter to me. That's why I'm interviewing you. <laughs> it makes sense, right? I was sacrificing my life for a black life. No, no, I, I, you're going too far, man. I don't think you know what you're hiding for. <laughs> You're going too far now. Like, I get your motivation, but that's not your intent. <laughs> if you guys understand that, as, a, as, a, as an educator, with an with educated tutorial, I'm not going to stress it any much longer. <laughs> you don't say things like that. You encourage people without <laughs> causing harm. That's not edu... <laughs> if, if you... If you if you educate your people would cause harm, you're not educating at all. You just ask that to whatever problem that is. <laughs> but like this program, like this software, it's a problem. I can't get my edit video edit because fronts are crashing the software. And I don't like this front and I don't like the color. <laughs> so I'm gonna change it to whatever I feel like I want it. 
I just don't like the color. I don't know, guys. I, I, I'm, I'm lost in translation right now. <laughs> it keeps crashing. I don't, I don't think the software loves me anymore. Man, listen, I'm gonna make you white. Put you white. <laughs> oh, wow. This is, okay, I gotta charge you guys. So, hold on. Apparently the phone is dying and I didn't take notice. I'm gonna plug you up. There we go. Plugged. <laughs> Power forever. But yeah, I don't know, you guys. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced. Oh, now we're getting this. <laughs> oh, wow. <sighs> we get blackouts now. <laughs> Mind you, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this in 1080, 30 frames a second. But all my footage is 1080p, 60 frames a second. So I can slow it down. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I can slow it down properly. I know how to add. And this is what I get. So guys, tip. If you want to slow down 1080, 60 frames, 60 frames a second properly, you can do it in 1080p, 60 frames a second settings, but my settings is 1080p, 30 frames a second. Gives me an advantage to slow it down just like this. Let me show you. As we have witnessed firsthand. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta play it back, because some people have not seen it that just tuned in. I want people to understand where I'm going with this. And yes, I fucking sampled the shit out of this song. So, <laughs> I am proud. It's my first sample. I don't know what you call me. I don't know what you call that, but I'm calling that successful. I'm trying to make this video sink into an audience. Like my did my documentaries. And mind you, speaking of the documentary, I just got an email recently from a, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I recently got an email because they were asking me for a request for a submission for a documentary. I did not prepare one just quite yet, but this is why I want to make it now. Where is it? I'm looking for it. Oh, shut up and go get some help. <laughs> You know, this woman told me earlier today as I was coming from Walgreens to suck. She said, you can suck your own dick. I was like, wow. I wish I could do that. I'm going to have to actually look for women. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, women. But, you know, I don't do it all the time. But, like, you can ask my ex-wife. like, I don't... But... I was just being sensitive. <laughs> I was just being irrational at the time <laughs> when she said it. <laughs> yeah, she has some mental health. I was just joking with her, but we used to... Okay. Maybe it's another email. Hold on one second. I need to log in. 
I gotta, I gotta black you out. I can't show you my login. I'm logging to my other email. Where is that submission? Normally I keep all my bills here. That's why you see labels. No, no, no. This email keeps all tabs of all expenses, emails, invoices, stays at the hostel, what money I spend, what money I give away, what money that I spend out of my own pocket to give away to you guys. All this is here. This is why this email exists. This is why it's different from the Okino Miyake. This is why everything is labeled. That's why you see different color labels, everything. Simple. I don't know what American, most Americans do, but I, as both, I guess, I was born here by default, but I'm calling myself an Okinawian. I'm sorry, but French native Okinawian, African descent. I'm calling myself what I want to call, but I organize all my emails. I'm sorry, I, I, it's a habit, and I don't care what people say. This might be anal here in the States, but I organize. This is how I keep financials. This is how I beat the government <laughs> in another IRS claim. This, this is how I do it. Keep tabs, every money I spend. But anyway, uh, there was a submission to a this is legal, this is for the court fight, legal stuff, yeah, 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 yeah. Looking for that email for that submission. This is an organization, an organization that I support. It's for what's got watch. Supports. State, trust me, it's a powerful organization. They, they get their word out. They don't play. They do not play. It's like, it's like messing with the half of another big brother that is underground. It's like another like strong organization that <coughs> it support photographers, videographers, journalists, documentarians. Where is the submission? I'm looking for it. I say, one of these emails. Please tell me I still have it. Okay, let's go back to Okunomiyaka. I gotta have it. I'm sure you're on my, on my bills. Yes, money that I spend a lot on hostel fees and poo 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 hostel fees. Poo 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 hostel fees. It's a repeat of hostel fees. I don't mind sharing this with you guys. I honestly don't care. I really don't. I want you guys to see what. I'm not fucking, I'm not going to go to this whole, oh, privacy crap. As I said, I'm very transparent. This is why when people suspect, okay, <laughs> this is what I love about coming into hostels that people don't know who I am or what my status is or who I work for. This is why I keep what I work for at this creek. And I'm not, I'm not bragging. This is not bragging. This is just protecting my rights and protecting everyone's rights and everyone's security here. Because I'm not going to, I'm not going to identify myself from one person. I know it's, it doesn't hurt. Oh, it doesn't work that way unless it's something very important. The purpose is 
you know, I want to come in, I want to come into this hostel as a civilian. Not as a contractor, not as a government worker, as a civilian. That's it. I want that respect. I think that's fair to ask. Who is that submission? I just received it too. Oh my goodness. Please don't tell me I lost that email. I really need that email. Okay, I need to go back in to open a VIP. Let's, let's dive into this email. Because there's a lot of stuff here. We need to go to back a page. There it is. Yes. <laughs> Found it. Guys. Corporate entries. I submitted my entry and I won. And yeah, they want me to do another one. Oh, guys. That's just why I'm trying to finish this one. So badly. But it keeps crashing. <laughs> It just keeps crashing. Oh. Guys, this is making my, please do, please do try to support the channel here. The PayPal, the donation, the, Guys, I spent lots of money on the gear and lots of money on the time to go film and lots of time on my own. Even spending money on the hostels and the hotels. People that actually donate spend the time to actually help me extend that time. Please do support. It really does help. Because see, not just you, but the audience had contributed to extend my time to make the content and look at this goddamn freaking software crashing on on everything it crashes on some animations that are pre-made <laughs> and now it's crashing on fronts please do support the channel I'm gonna have a shot of Yuki Biki. <laughs> Thank you, Yuki. Uh, you know what? It, this did came in handy. This this came in handy. Thank you, Yuki, for buying this. Right, Lord Brian? Thank you, Lord Brian. Thank you, Yuki. Thank you, everyone in New York. Thank you, DJ Tech, Yuma, DJ Cole, DJ uh, 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 Spectre. Uh, mellow, 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 yellow. She's a chef. She makes good food, by the way. Uh, Francisca from Wisconsin. Mind you, she's actually the, the District 76 District of Madison. She's, she's, dude, she's a powerhouse. She's a, she's not to mess with. The first American Korean. This is what I told him. This is where my money went to. Supporting her. Yes. All worth it. If you guys make magic, I support you too. I make it work. I do some free work sometimes for you. But, like I said, I don't work for free. But, let's say we support each other. You donate to me and I donate to you. It's beyond on the neutral side here. And I was like, you know what? Wait, wait, this is coming up for you? And she's like, yeah, this is last minute. I would do the project for free. And I want, I want to see how people react when they don't see the content coming. And that is what expired me a lot, when they don't see the content coming. Like, you guys didn't see this coming, but I'm showing you now because I'm having problems. It's, it's just not cool. Come on. Look, you guys are probably saying, well, why don't you update? <laughs> okay. You see that? 16.2.7. I'm updated. 
So, I guess I'm gonna have to wait. And you guys are gonna have to wait because I have to use the restaurant. I guess I'm gonna have to put you on somewhere over here, right? I don't know what the guys, I don't know what to tell you guys right now. To be honest, I'm kind of disappointed in the to resolve. I'm sorry it took so long from the bathroom, but I need to wash my hands properly before I re-enter this kitchen. This is part of the CDC rules. I'm not going to emphasize it any longer. Guys, I'm about keeping people safe. You guys know that I did this for six months, helping the hostel in Northwest Portland. I miss those guys, because those guys treat me actually, I'm gonna say this right now, these guys treat me actually pretty damn well. They treat me better. They treat me, they, 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 they literally treat me like family. Come on. I miss Justin, I miss Sarah, I miss Jim, I miss Britta. I mean, it's like just seeing the staff just like hanging out and, you know, it's, it's a special place. 
And yes, it's in Portland, I know. But if it was in Eugene, oh my panda, it'd be so much better. <laughs> if 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 it was in Eugene, I, I, I don't know. I love Eugene. You know what happened? Sarah was like, I'm from Eugene. I'm like, well, I'm, I'm planning to visit it. I visited one time. I was like emphasizing this in my past videos. I went there one time years ago, one time for one day, for complimentary com uh, theater. And basically, it, I wanted to go back. And then when I went back for a few days, I fell in love. They had a really nice Japanese fusion. You know, it felt more, uh, it felt more like Pacific, Southern Asian, then American Asian, but it had a, like a Northwest twist with the fries and the sauce. But that's what it remind me, like an Alaskan, Asian, uh, Japanese twist to like Northwest. If you guys never, ex let me explain. If you guys never been to Alaska, that's why I'm experiencing that. I've been to Alaska. You know in Anchorage. That's why I'm, I'm sensing that from the, the restaurant that I visited in Eugene. It had that kind of flavor to it. And this is why I enjoyed that salty miso soup that was very fragrant and very palate. It had a really nice palate to it. But not only that, it had a nice amount of seaweed in Oh, oh my God. Algae was so good. Yes, it had the, it had the, yes. If you never had authentic, authentic, oh, so so. I mean, let me stop. If you never, because uh, I'm drooling in my mouth. Uh, it tastes so good. <laughs> but if you never had authentic, southern, miso soup. So it has seaweed and algae. There's an algae that you can eat. And Okinawans eat this. This is where this restaurant in Eugene had that. This is where I got that vibe of like Alaskan because most Alaskan Japanese are from the Okinawa area. And they go fishing. Because they're sailors, they're, they're fishermen. Now you guys understand where where I come from, like understanding that history and, and the food and the palate. As a as a former chef, I don't have my palate because my taste and my sense of smell is gone. But I can still like take a hint of like. This is why I put a amount of ingredients. When you see me cook, when you guys see me cook, it's always an amount based on quantity, salt. But if more than one person says this means uh, this needs a little bit more salt, I would add a little bit more salt. But it's always sea salt. It's never the, please don't eat iodine salt. Iodine salt is really bad for the earth. It's not very good salt. It's actually poisoned. <laughs> yes, iodine salt is poison. It's not good for your, it's not good for your liver. It's because, let me explain what it does to your liver. As a former medical student, uh, what it does is it dehydrates your liver to a point where it won't absorb any water anymore. What it does, it's gonna absorb what it wants, like sugar, salt, um, any other chemical that it can absorb that it, it, it has water compound because it just, just eats up everything. This is why you don't fucking consume iodine salt. If you eat that over time in your lifetime, this is why your skin ages. But yes, this is why your skin ages. This is why your brain, <laughs> mind you, your brain uh, comes to a point where uh, if you start seeing uh, 
spots over time. You should see this about 60 and 70, but you, if you see this early in your age, you need to stop eating ionized salt. Fair warning. I'm not gonna say it again. My friend Ray would say this to you. People from UW would say this to you probably. Based on your based on your health condition, mind you. But typically anyone that's obese and anyone that's consuming too much salt or too much sugar, mind you that you <laughs> you you're gonna go through some problems. But I'm sick of this fucking editing software and not fucking working. But anyway, <laughs> I, I just got, I just went back to UW on here. Oh wow. I hope everyone from UW is watching. I love you. Go Badgers. Go Badgers. Woohoo! <laughs> Who cares about those ducks? <laughs> Someone thought that was a beaver. You, you, seen that, you seen that Instagram post? In that post? How dare you think I was a beaver? I'm a bashful crying out loud. He did not. Oh, wow. He shouldn't have known that. He known me for years. I couldn't believe that he didn't know that, like, come on, I've been representing Bashful for the freaking longest time. How would you think I'm a beaver? No offense, Beaver, which is Minnesota, by the way. No offense, Minnesota, but I rock Wisconsin Badger shirts all the time. That's why, Beavers. So don't, don't get mad at me. Get mad at the guy that actually thought I was a beaver. He thought the mascot was a beaver. <laughs> so get mad at him. Yeah, I'm scratching my head on that one too. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, man. I'm, ah, fuck. I'm lost for it here. Oh, I'm gonna have to stop my okay. I'm gonna have to scratch. I'm gonna have to stop the scratch. Oh, guys, this is annoying. It was this text. See? And all I did was correct it. Because I like the color scheme. But I wanted a smaller. And then I wanted. Wait, wait. Let's save it again. Wait, wait, let's save it again before it crashes. <laughs> and then I wanted to change it. So I'm gonna change it to something that I normally don't want. It's gonna be low Ah, that looks ugly. I don't know what that was. Why did I choose that? That was disgusting. What was that text? Oh, wow. Am I doing a Mexican 70s fucking movie right now? <laughs> no offense, but those are classic, by the way. I love those. The Cowboys versus Mexican uh, Cowboys. Yeah, I, I love those. Those are classic. Mind you, in Japan, if you guys don't know that, let me explain. Oh, let me educate you really fast. In Japan, we love the Japanese, we love the, the, like, the Spanish War versus American Cowboy. Yes, 
we kind of we love that. We used to watch a lot of those uh, those documentaries, those movies. Yes, in Japan, we watched a lot of those in the in the eighties, even in the seventies. They watched it because my parents would tell me about it, and I got that's how I got attracted to it. Yeah, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> this is why there's this. <laughs> America has a lot of influence in Japan. And it's Portuguese and it's Spanish influence in Japan. And not many people know about it. Stupid. This is what, this is what I, I teach. This is why I get the jobs that I why you guys think I get the jobs? <laughs> those, those really interesting jobs. Because I'm good at what I do. Listen, when I try to teach a student something about American culture, I don't try to be a teacher. I try to be their friend. Try to be someone that they can relate to. Because I, I was just like them at one point. It makes sense. Why did you think you were better than them? Doesn't matter where you're from. Thailand, Malaysia, Hmong, Laos, Asia. I love you. Panda loves you. Look at what I'm eating. <laughs> Are you jealous now? <laughs> mm. Look what I have until. Ooh. <laughs> You have a whiskey, a sassy, and you having the the best chips in the world. Let me explain to you guys. Okay, mind you, let me straighten this out. I'm trying to straighten this out. <laughs> This is a product from Malaysia. Yes, this is a product from Malaysia. If you don't know about this product, it's famous. In my opinion, it's the best. You see the green pea snacks. So, look at this green pea snack. Fluffy, light, mmm. Mmm. How I discovered this brand. So I was in Singapore for two days before I got kicked out. <laughs> You guys knew about that story, right? So apparently, I got two customs, blah, 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 blah. I was in the cab. I, I popped in gum. The cab driver told me, no gum, no American gum. I said, this is not American gum, Japanese gum. This is too, this is, this is baking soda. He didn't believe me. When he dropped me off, I still gave him a tip. He called the police. <laughs> they came to my hotel and raided my hotel because of the fluoride gum. They thought it was fluoride. So if you guys don't know, in Singapore, fluoride is banned. <laughs> Thank you.
Yes, Four Ride is banned. It's been banned for a long time ago. <laughs> but I, I knew that. I knew it. But it's baking soda. Even Japan kind of bans Four Ride. And most, most uh, two piece uh, applications, yeah, Japan's bans Four Ride. They don't believe in that. That's why I'm like, I'm not, I'm not understanding why you're targeting me. It's a, Jap a Japanese product. So yeah, I got kicked out and then I got reimbursed it from I accidentally banned. So if you guys didn't know, I got banned for a year from Singapore, then they overturned it. <laughs> because they thought it was an American product because someone put an American product. But they realized the American product didn't match up to the product name. It was actually a Jap Japanese product. But yes, they do sell that product in the U.S. If you go to like any Japanese town or Japan town, like New York City, San Francisco, LA, uh, Chicago, DC, maybe it has a small Japan town, but not big. It's not that very small. It's not that very big yet. It, it's. This is why I, I, I'm, I'm asking you guys, please. Support the Japanese community as much as you possibly can. They save my life. They can save yours. They can, they can, they can put influence into your lives. They're really good people. They mean very well. Trust me. They wouldn't do what they did for me if they did not. Trust me. I'm, I, I, I'm not going to emphasize that any longer. You guys have a bunch of... If you guys don't believe me, then if you want to be on a race... Then what? I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> Japanese saved my life. That's all I'm saying. The culture, the people... The past relationships, the experience, yeah, it's all worth it. So, eat a bag of eggs. <laughs> and look, it crashes again. I can't get this video done. <laughs> uh, guys, please do support the channel. Oh, wow, I'm, I'm going through so much stress right now. This is what I got to do every night. Oh, now you guys understand what I go do to other video. Please do support. Waste of money. just is happening at 1080p dirt 1080p 30 frames a second then I'm down mind you then I'm down sapling in my 1080p 60 frames to 1080 30 frames a second oh my god this should run smoothly all my time that look at that you see how long I have can you guys just, can you, can you guys do me a favor? Please, can you extend that for me? To at least December? <clears throat> so I can get this done, please? Can you? I really want to get this done. You don't know how passionate I got into this day and I don't have enough time to this day. If it, if the software keeps crashing, I keep spending money. I, I, I guys, I just extended for an additional day. This should normally take me like three days to complete. Guys, please extend this. <laughs> I, I, guys, I want to fix this. I want to fix this and release it because, oh my God, it's such good footage.
I did not just use this hint. Like I said, I used multiple cameras to give you a different aspect of how I see life. I guess this is why DUW wanted to hire me in the first place. Let me check out, oh wow. Never mind. I can't believe this is happening. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually just skip this whole part. What I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna actually say, fuck the text, <laughs> continue editing. I wanna complete this first part, but fuck it. But I want to, I don't know. Ah, this fucks my mind. I can't not finish this the way I want it. I got two parts. Okay, so I have three part, three storylines that I want to add to this storyline. Oh. And I can't get this done. <sighs> you know what? I'm done. I've been up since five o'clock trying to fix this, but YouTube doesn't seem to care about my struggle. Hmm. They won't emphasize my struggle as a photographer, videographer, documentarian. They won't let you know that I'm live streaming. Remind you that I have over 2,700 subscribers. Mm. Mm. Very strange. Oh my god. Mm. Did I also told you? about the YouTube's uh, new policy about monetization. Oh yes. So now they have the upper hand on you. <laughs> you better read that carefully before you monetize your video. Read it carefully. This is where they will win, and, you, and mind you, you will lose. So really carefully. So what it states is that if you have a certain amount of profanity in your content, even though it's not meant for adults, the advertiser can absolutely make a decision, even though it's adult-based rated R or R in R17. If you guys don't know that, Hmm. If you don't, if you guys don't know what that, that really is, NR17 means like over 17 years of age. So 
So what happens is, if the advertiser doesn't see it as suitable, then it's not advertisable at all. But you may receive the green light, but you will receive the little piss sign if it happens. So be careful. So categorize your content correctly. This is a warning. You have to categorize your content correctly based on the content. So if you are using adult language, you use entertainment. You don't use how to do, you don't use blogging, no. Blogging, you do not curse in the blog. Let me emphasize that. When you blog, you do not emphasize and use profanity. Because you're not just speaking to an adult audience, you're speaking to a young audience. Mm. Oh my God. So I... The reason why I'm speaking like this right now, mm, I put my dentures in my mouth. You guys know I got into a car accident years ago, but this is why I don't wear my dentures. Ow. Ow. When I, when I put my dentures in, it nips, it takes a nip of a bite of my gums inside my uh, inner gum and my jawline. Let me show you. Uh, uh, all the way in there, my dentures, when I clamp down on its old teeth, they actually, what happens is my gums are getting this treat the teeth and then, and then nipping like this, and a nip, and now I have this, mm, sore. This is why I don't want to wear my dentures, everyone. May I say this, please? This is why I don't want to wear my dentures. To hurt my teeth and my gums, and the, the muscle around it. This is why I have to sacrifice. This is why I get, can I say this, please? Please, can I, may I? Please. May, this is why I get discriminated a lot. People miss, assume that I did drugs or, you know how many times I, I, I got that from no course for the hostel? Yes, no west for the hospital. Not from staff, but some guests. Did you know how many times I got it here? Twice. So far, twice. San Francisco. It wasn't from the Japanese community. Not at all. From America. And I'm being truthful about that. And they work here. No, it's not the manager. No. You know why? He was cool enough. <laughs> so polite. In my opinion, it's the staff. They need to stop judging. That's the problem. As I said at the beginning of this video, you told us. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest. I'm, in, I'm under the influence because listen, I've been having a rough time with the software. I've been drinking and trying to get over with this. Yes, I'm under the influence, but I know what I'm talking about. When it comes down to education. You do not make judgment when you're in a hospitality industry. 
As a 501c3, which is the high hostel, you do not make judgment on any guests. You can deny service based on academic performance and behavior. You don't make judgment based on someone's appearance. Cheers. Am I right? That's a human right. That's a human right. Anyway, let me add this thing. By the way, whoever watches this video, Panda loves you so much. Panda wants to say thank you for even taking 10 minutes, five minutes, three minutes. Panda wants to just let you know, if you even took this much time to watch the video, I appreciate it. I really do. Because, mind you, I'm one out of a billion people in the world, and this might be the last time you hear from me. You never know. So I appreciate it. Bless you. God, humble It means a lot. Arigato. With that said, peace.